Hi, this is Kevin. Today I am going to show you how to install Hyper-V in Windows 10. Before installing Hyper-V in Windows 10, we can see some of the advantages of using Hyper-V in Windows 10 operating system. So here are some of the advantages of using Hyper-V in Windows 10 operating system. So if you see, it was easy to use Hyper-V in Windows 10 operating system. With the simple clicks, you can just install the Hyper-V in Windows 10 operating system, which was given as a default server inside the Windows 10. So if you use Hyper-V in Windows 10, you don't need any physical server like another Hyper-V or Hypervisor server like you are using an ASXI machines and it was inbuilt in the host operating system that is it was inbuilt in the Windows 10 operating system so you don't need to download a separate package from the Microsoft website for installing the Hyper-V in Windows 10 operating system so it will save the bandwidth for you it also provides a better memory management because the Hyper-V comes as an inbuilt package with the Windows 10. So it will provide a good memory management for you with the help of a dynamic and a fixed memories. And you also don't need any third party softwares for moving the virtual machines, taking backup of the virtual machines and also for installing the virtual machines. So we have seen some of the advantages. You also need to know you need to have a motherboard which supports virtualization that is a VT. So let's start installing Hyper-V in Windows 10 operating system. So first of all, in order to install Hyper-V, you need to go to the control panel. Here you need to go to the programs and features. And there you can see an option called turn Windows features on or off. Just click this button. So it will show you some of the Windows features which are available in your operating system here you can see dot and feature it directory right to directory service containers data center binding so these are some of the features available which you can install in your windows 10 operating system so right now i am going to search for hyper v so here it is so i'm going to install hyper v in my windows 10 operating system which provides a better management interface and management tools for creating and running the virtual machines with the sources which I have in my physical machine. For example, I am having 8 GB of RAM and a 64 bit operating system and a hex 64 based processor with the i5 processor. So let's check the VT. So here you can see So here you can see Hyper-V virtualization enabled in the firmware and a second class second level address translation So these are the things you need to know You can also search for the VT If you find you it will be better you can know that it supports the virtualization technology so it was displaying more information So you can just skip that so this detail is enough for 
you to know that your motherboard supports virtualization technology so if there is no here then you can know that your motherboard does not support the virtualization technology so right now I am going to select this option so let's collapse here you can see it will install the Hyper-V management tools like GUI management tools and the modules for Windows PowerShell you can also manage your Hyper-V virtual machines using the Windows PowerShell using these tools which was provided here if you need to install these tools to manage your virtual machines using the Hyper-V and next thing I'm going to install is Hyper-V platform so this tells that uh, the Hyper-V services and hypervisor will be installed so hypervisor is the important thing it, which will install the main module for running the Hyper-V server and the Hyper-V services will let you control the services for creating and managing the virtual machines so after selecting all of those things you can just disable it to if you don't need the PowerShell module or any other modules here I'm just going to enable everything and select OK so it will search for the record files and install so after the installation is completed it will undergo a, a restart that will do the Windows updates in your Windows 10 operating system so I am going to pass the video and restart it and after that I will show you a complete Hyper-V management tools I have rebooted the system successfully and Hyper-V manager was installed successfully so let's open it so here you can see the Hyper-V manager was installed successfully and you can also check the services so here you can see the Hyper-V PowerShell remote desktop virtualization time virtual machine management volume shader copy case services and everything was installed successfully a total of 10 services will be installed and make sure every each and every services are in a running state so here I have not started any of the virtual machines so by creating the virtual machine each and every machine service will start automatically so I'll just show you the beginning I'm going to remove the server and I'm going to connect it connect to the local computer here local computer is my virtualization server so I'm going to connect to the local computer and I have successfully connected and you can see that it was showing the settings like virtual switch manager virtual sand manager everything was shown here and you can go to the properties of the Hyper-V that is a Hyper-V setting you can go to the Hyper-V settings and here you can see the whole settings which was given for the Hyper-V server and you can set the virtual hard disk locations and the virtual machine storage locations and GPU settings, mass spanning, storage and migration, everything you can set here. And regarding this, I will explain in detail in my next video. So, thank you for watching my video.